Hello, 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 YouTube. This is Mr. Bird 2007 here, and uh, I know I've been off for a couple of days, but uh, let's get this new series underway, the Bandwagon series. And as you can tell, I'm wearing my baseball hat here. Yes, I am a Chicago Cubs fan, but we are not going to be talking about the Chicago Cubs today. We will be talking on a baseball team, however, and that is episode one, the Bandwagon series, the Texas Rangers. Yes, that's right, the Texas Rangers. Now, why do I bring up the Texas Rangers, you ask? Well, to be honest, I mean, they are a good franchise. They have a great owner. They've had good players over the years. But honestly, this has definitely become one of the biggest bandwagon teams in recent memory. And the reason I say that is because it seems that before 2010, when the Rangers actually started to get hot, you know, the Texas Rangers were just always kind of there. I mean... You really didn't see anybody, you know, like, represent the Texas Rangers. I mean, because for the most part, you know, the Texas Rangers were always finishing, like, you know, dead last. Three, third or fourth place in the division. They usually finished, like, you know, 57 wins and, like, 105 losses or whatever. Occasionally, they would get that really big win, but that was really few and far between. And then 2010 comes along, and then, you know, I don't know. Out of nowhere, the Texas Rangers just, they're actually a good team. And the only downside with that is, is the fact that everybody jumped on the bandwagon. I mean, it was just absurd. Like, as the farther they got into the playoffs, I mean, just seeing Texas Ranger stuff everywhere. I was seeing it at work. I was seeing it at stores, malls, whatever. You name a store, and they carried at least some sort of Texas Rangers memorabilia. I had a friend who was a quote-unquote Rangers fan, and, you know, like, as soon as they went into the World Series, he's like, oh, wait, you gotta go and get this stuff. This Ranger stuff, they're selling it for, like, five bucks, these t-shirts, you wanna get one? And I'm just like, no. And he goes, why not? I'm just like, because I'm not a Texas Rangers fan. Then you call me, like, a fake fan out of nowhere, and I'm just like, wait, what? So, yeah. I mean, yeah, if I, I was gonna root for them, because, you know, hey, you know, this is a team that's been around for a while, it's been struggling for a long period of time. For them to get a World Series, you know, it's like, good for them. It's good for the franchise. It's good for the organization. And, unfortunately, they did not. The San Francisco Giants did upset them in the World Series. Four games to one. And, to be honest, I was happy for the Giants, too. I mean, because at the time, they hadn't won in, you know, 50-something years. So, and then 2011 comes along. And, you know, they start off doing really well, too. You know, they get the division title, I believe, I guess is what they did, and they're going up against the Chicago Cubs' biggest rival, the St. Louis Cardinals. Oh, no, I was definitely going for the Rangers in that World Series, and they had a perfect opportunity to really do something and to really win the series, but unfortunately, they blew it. The Cardinals got hot at the right time, and they definitely rallied around. The Cardinals did win four games to three. Now, 2012 comes along, and, you know, they signed you, Darvish. That's like the biggest signing ever you know for this team and you know they did really well throughout the majority of the season but you know they were one of those teams that eventually had the late september collapse it seems that in the last you know five years there's always been at least one team that you know you think is going to go in the playoffs and go the farthest but unfortunately they have a late season collapse and ultimately that's what happened with the texas rangers they did get in that into that wild wild card game but they were just outmatched, and they couldn't really do anything. And then, not too long ago, as everybody knows, Josh Hamilton, their biggest player, signs with, is a free agent and signs with the Anna, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim for five years, $125 million. That is a big shot. This is like the second player of that was formerly with the Rangers and has now gone to the Angels. I think C.J. Wilson was the first one, and now it's Josh Hamilton. So that's definitely going to increase the rivalry you know, between the Rangers and the Angels. That seems to be the biggest one as far as the, as one of the American League divisions go. But, I mean, it, it it's just weird seeing, you know, everyone who used to be quote-unquote Rangers fans for a long time and now they're just sort of, you know, oh, we're fans now and stuff. I mean, all the shirts I see, they just look brand new. Like, they just bought it in the store. I mean, ask a Texas Rangers fan, you know, any player outside of like Josh Hamilton or something or or whatever and you know they'll just be like who oh we're just going there because they're from Texas or whatever I mean I don't, I don't know it, it's just bullshit I mean 
and it, and now I hate to say this, but you know, I wonder how the season's going to be for the Texas Rangers next year. You know, will the fans still be around, or will they just kind of disappear, or maybe go to the Houston Astros side? Which, in my opinion, that's what a lot of former Rangers fans, or they used to be the Astros fans when they were doing really good in the early 2000s, and then they switched over to the Rangers. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just funny to see like all this merchandising just pop out of nowhere and everybody's just buying into it and it's just i don't know it's just really disappointing so i mean if they get into the world series again and they win it i'll i'll be happy for them you know i'll be like hey you know what it's good for the players it's good for the franchise good for the organization it's good for those few diehard fans that are out there for the texas rangers so and uh that's that's it. I'm going to be wrapping up episode one. Do you, um, so what do you guys feel about the Texas Rangers? Do you feel that they are, you know, a bandwagon team that people follow? So um, comment, let me know. And as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep watching. Bye-bye.